You're looking beautiful, babe. Thank you. Did you bring a lunch for yourself? No, this is my <laughs> lunch on the go. Mmm. No working lunch. Well, good afternoon, not morning. Uh, we got some rain, as you can see. By the puddles. And by the kids bicycles and helmets that are just laying in it but I'm not gonna dwell on that because they're kids we're gonna feed the birds water the birds take care of the birds in general Brittany and I are finally feeling healthy healthy enough that we are out and about helping with some chores get this off hold on Help, I think, getting these buckets apart, Brie. What's that? The hose is down. I can't hear you. Turkeys. The cute birds. I like the turkeys. Yep, I'll come dump them, hun. Oh. Well. If you follow us on social media, you'll have noticed recently we haven't hardly been posting. Um, we haven't hardly been posting like anything. Um, there's Brittany doing the water. We basically, for over a week now, almost two weeks since Brittany's family was in town, we have been sick. And I mean like sicker than we've ever been before. And we are certain, even though we've already gotten a negative COVID test, that we had COVID because uh, we had every single symptom that's a symptom, including the uh, taste loss and the loss of smell. Over yeah, as a matter of fact, Brittany cannot smell still. I'm getting it back slowly. Um, but I think both our sense of taste is kind of coming back. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna hunt for some duck eggs. Oh yeah, thank you. I'm so used to, I come out and I'll do those, and the kids will have gotten these uh, chickens out. Check for eggs. I did not bring the egg basket though. One. Oh, there's another one. I set these right here. Hopefully, promising house lead here. Yeah? You 
been looking at house after house after house. Not a day goes by where we don't check Realtor.com. But through a lot of prayer and searching consideration, we think we might have a good lead on a house. So we're um, working through a couple of details and hopefully we'll have some information on that in a couple of weeks that we could reveal some more details on that. Yeah, we're tired of revealing details because it kept changing so much the last time. More than I've ever had of any house, of any any search of any kind. Normally it's like, you have to like beat them off with a stick to like keep them from forcing you to get the house. So, that was a weird analogy. But, we've never had this much trouble. We did find something, we're really excited. It's 10 acres, it's got some outbuildings. It's obviously got a house. Needs a little bit of work, but nothing that we can't handle and get done, I think right away at the beginning, like right when we get the house, so. But yeah, so we're recovering. Like our energy levels have been just so low the last two weeks. Um, we're both like, short up in bed sick i mean it was kids did. i think they just survived on their own she said uh ah. she's not sure what our kids did for those there's probably two days three days where our kids were basically just on their own just playing all day and we we're having minimal supervision grandma was here so she helped out a lot thanks grandma i don't see any duck eggs yeah I didn't see him there. That's the first place I looked. Oh, yeah, I see one now that you say that. It was under the side. Duck egg. I don't want the duck egg in my face. Oh, no, it is cold it. out. Colder than I thought it was going to be. Need gloves. Trade me. You're going to do the hose? Sure. Alright. We should probably film our conversation so we are bad at that. We're talking about guinea fowl ordering some keats. Um, and we've noticed that. I've noticed as I've looked online, everywhere seems to not have them until the summer, almost like they're seasonal. And Brittany was saying... We ordered them last, last time we got them, it was in the fall. I remember it was cold. And we I think ended you're up right. putting them outside in like... It was January the snow. Because I was due with the baby. And we were trying to decide when we were going to let them outside. That would have been December. Newborn. But yeah, guinea fowl were one of the first things we want to get as soon as we move. And maybe, we've kind of jokingly talked about this many times, we're already on the docket for pigs, although we may, probably put the camera at me. Uh, we're on the docket already for pigs, uh, something we're getting, uh, although we might change who we're getting them from. But uh, we both have jokingly, and then I think semi-seriously, have started talking about getting a, a cow. And I think we both really want one. I think we just need to kind of talk through like if we got a milking cow which i think we're both kind of leaning towards and then milking getting cow that we can that would yeah. work for beef as well yep because so we could get it pregnant i'm not sure we'll do a bull right away maybe we'll just get it you know inseminate the cow or you know go drop it off somewhere with somebody who has a bull and then bring it back can you purchase pregnant cows you can yeah so something so something like that yeah milk cow and then raise the young for meat. Ideally, um, I'd like to have two cows and you can swap them out you always have one in milk. That would be my goal, but I gotta start with one cow. Yeah. We gotta figure out milking schedule. Brittany said she'll milk it, but I think I wanna participate too, so we'll have to figure out a schedule that would be convenient for, for two people. when you keep the cash with the, the mom part-time. So 
if you're only able to go milk it once a day, just keep, That's the, true, yeah. just keep the cap with it the rest of the time. And I mean, I would have to do more research, but I think you can do something like that. Mm -hmm. A little more low maintenance. So, yeah. My fingers are freezing. Sorry. So. Put them in your pockets. They are covered with the kind of mud that's not mud. Chicken, that, chicken that, peanut butter. That weird colored mud. You need to go thoroughly wash from afterwards. Are you talking about poop? Yeah, that. The poopy mud. And mm. Gross. I need to go. It was well. It was also covered. The hose is covered in yuck. So when I pick up the hose. Once again, we haven't done any chores in two weeks. The kids did an amazing job caring for the animals while we were yeah. sick. But it kind of looks like the kids have been taking care of the animals for the last two weeks. So, can we get that hose for you? Or the camera? Yeah, get the camera. Ew, that one is... These are gooey. They need to be washed thoroughly. Yes, but there's also something so awesome about farm fresh eggs. Oh yeah, they're still beautiful. They're still lovely. We're actually going to make eggs for dinner tonight. Mmm, that's right. Eggs and sausage. And... <laughs> skillet bread. Skillet bread. Mm -hmm. I would have remembered. Eventually. <laughs> oh, it's cold. I need to go turn the uh, fence on because I didn't do that. All right. And I'll have the scrap bowl over there. Okay. We're at... Oh, yeah. I see it. Well, hopefully this wasn't too haphazard of a video. We're out of practice of even filming. Normally, we film probably five out of seven days of our week. Try and get good content, not just mediocre content. Um, but we we are just so sick. I mean, I Brittany and I hardly got out of bed for me for almost four days. Her a little less, not much, like more like three or three and a half days. And I mean, it was, it was rough. Just no energy, just feeling horrible, high fever for a while. Um, all the things that come with that, the nasty things. So get a lid for this bucket. It's dirty, let's get that one. Seal up that food. We'll use that in a day or two. Kids were a little aggressive with the uh, amount of food they were feeding the birds. Found a baseball mitt out. We'll take that in the house. Try and get that cleaned and dried. <sighs> but even now, like our energy levels are pretty low. So we love you guys, which is why we keep trying to make these videos. But that's why you haven't seen us in I don't know, the better part of two weeks. No Instagram and Facebook posts, hardly. Um, but we've been just short up in bed, basically. And then we're with my parents are here at the house, and so we've been specifically staying upstairs out of their way, because we don't want to get them infected. They're older, and they're both very healthy, generally. But you just don't want to deal with that. So last thing I want to do is get them sick, have something bad happen, or even just have them feeling bad. So I've been really careful with that. But I'll pick this up in a second. Come help Daddy do the video. Let's finish it up. Who's that? Who's that baby Penelope? Yeah. Well, I just want to say thank you. Appreciate you guys watching. This is our littlest one. She was sick for a little bit, but she's feeling so much better now. Um, just want to say thanks. Uh, tune in. We'll have some more videos and more updates. We're going to be getting back on social media. Doing the... Yeah, let's get where the light's okay. <laughs> doing posts and updates and stuff. Uh, if you're interested in any of our house search and all that stuff, uh, we're going to post first on Instagram. So 
Go follow us at Hashley Farms on Instagram and on Facebook. And say bye bye. Like this video. See you guys. Thanks. <laughs>